Hey, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, Mark, welcome to our second panel of this wonderful Sunday afternoon. It's great to have you back on here. You've been a, a regular panel moderator for all these shows since the first one we did two years ago. Bill, I'm honored and I love being a part of Comic Art Live. Uh, I, this has been such a treat and I'm so glad that it's still going and it's going strong and it seems like people are having fun. And uh, are. It's great to be here. And, and yeah, this is kind of tradition. Like, I feel like if I didn't host one of Paulo's panels, that I'd be doing something wrong. So yeah, I'm very happy to be here. So thank you for having me. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. You know, you, you can host as many panels as you want, whenever you want. It's uh, hey, your, your... free energy. What's up? I've already got a fan in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Mark will be signing autographs as soon as the panel's over. I promise. Yes, everybody. that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we're, uh, we're ready to have Paulo back. Uh, you know, it's always nice to have him here. And he's got some amazing pieces that we're going to be auctioning off. So uh, if you guys in the chat are looking forward to trying to get a piece by Paulo Rivera, today's your chance. Don't sleep on this. This is going to be uh, this is going to be exciting. I can tell right now. I got a preview of the artworks. They're all fantastic. There's a few that I wish I could have, but I'm going to leave that to the uh, to Paulo's fans. I I can get a piece at a show one day, maybe. Absolutely. So uh, all right. Well, why don't we bring uh, the man of the hour and uh, his significant other of the, of the afternoon, Mr. His Martin. work wife. <laughs> I there like he that. is. Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Oh, yeah, we, Mark and I are. We're about to celebrate twenty years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a yeah. long time to be working with one guy. That's that's pretty amazing, Paulo. Mark must be yeah. doing all right by you. Yeah, he, he he's pretty good. I gotta admit. Yeah, I guess we don't we don't really need to introduce Mark because if you guys have been watching Comic Art Live, you know him well. But just in case. Mark Hay from Splash Page Art runs a really great uh, website that has a ton of different artists available. If you guys would like to purchase any original art from SplashPageArt.com, you'll find a wide variety of uh, exciting artists that work in the industry, including the great Paulo Rivera. So uh, we're very happy to have both you gentlemen back on Comic Art Live, and uh, thanks for being here. It's great to have you. Always a pleasure. Uh, OG with you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and I started it. Years yeah. ago, before there was ever an online live type environment back in San Diego, and then uh, here we are today. So, yeah, that's true. You took me yeah. to my first San Diego Comic Con. You, yeah. even, you even made a, a t shirt with, with the Comic Card fans logo on it, but of course, it was on the back because your logo was really big on the front. Of, of course. And I, and I had to share space with a few other people, but you know, I, I felt the love early on in our friendship, Mark. <laughs> Yes, we have reciprocated uh, money with one as well. But I have. Mark, I have. Mark, Mark's booth at San Diego is my favorite place to stop and relax because he's got like a really nice setup with a lot of amazing pieces so that not only do you have great stuff to look at, but, you know, he it's a very kind of welcoming area because San Diego Comic-Con, if anyone has never been, it's not the easiest or most accessible place to go. But like, I always know I can stop by Mark's booth and just kind of take a breath and take in all the really cool art pieces that he has there. And and he's always got somebody exciting signing at the booth. That's one of the things that's really great about Splash Page Art. That's true. And if you've ever been an exhibitor next to Mark's booth and you were missing a chair or two, they always went over to Mark's booth because we always had so many people in that booth. We needed the extra chairs. So it's just I'm, I'm letting you know now, blame him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you can see Bill's... Uh, um... I guess YouTube background picture of him sleeping in my booth. Got <laughs> that's right. How much work I, I, you did that's my favorite me. picture I ever took at San Diego. In the booth. Well, it's all work with you, Mark. You know, yes. cracking the whip, hey. hang that back wall, tear it down. Somebody's got to sell Paulo's artwork, right? <laughs> that's He's got true. Kids to raise. It's true. I do. All right, all right well, you guys. I'm going to get out of the way so you guys can run this panel. There's going to be some. Great artwork at auction here during this panel. So, you know, please patronize uh, Paulo and his rep, Mr. Hay. And uh, Mark, take it away. And I'll, I'll actually pop in at the end of the show. Thanks, right. Bill. Appreciate yeah. it, buddy. Thanks, Bill. You got it. See you guys. So as I mentioned uh, right before we started, we are going to have some really incredible pieces up for auction. And just for you guys that are, uh, uh oh, I got to turn down this. I've got a backup laptop. Hold on, turn it down. Um, just for you guys that are new to this, if you've never done this before, once we start auctioning pieces, we pay attention to the chat. The chat covers both Facebook, it covers YouTube, it covers everything. So we're going to watch the chat. And when we start counting down, 
don't sit there and kind of waffle on it. If you want a piece, you need to get a bid in because when we get down to one and we say, okay, this is the winner, we cannot go back and say like, oh, let's reopen it because we missed this guy. So just please make sure you guys are on point when it comes time to actually auctioning a piece. We don't want anyone to miss out on anything. And man, when you guys see these pieces, you, you're going to know what I mean. I mean, it's just really, really exciting stuff. So first and foremost, let's catch up with Mark and Paulo and see what you guys have been doing. Paulo, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like Mark is going to like trump us all here because he's all glowing because he just got back from Lake Como. And mm -hmm. here we are like just kind of sitting at home, like twiddling our thumbs. So, all right, Mark, real quickly, tell us about Lake Como. How great was that? Let's start with that. And then we'll get it was, into Paulo. <laughs> it was an amazing experience. <laughs> very, very um, cool. I had the pleasure of going to England first, then Paris, and then Lake Como, and all art connected. One was, got to hang out with one of my artists, Trevor Hairsign, in, in England, and then uh, an art collector, promoter friend of mine uh, let us stay at his flat in Paris for a few days. Uh, and then Lake Como was beautiful. We had fun. Uh, Sean Phillips. Stefano Gaddiano, Trevor Harrison, myself, and partners um, all got to enjoy the beautiful weather and watch all the million dollar, multi million dollar houses uh, around the, the venue and enjoy uh, the great food. And it was super. It's the most casual, cool um, convention experience I've ever been to. Uh, you know, people can come up and hang out and talk with artists for extended periods of time while they're working and uh, something that you don't get in the New Yorks and the San Diegos and all the other bigger American shows uh, in which, you know, you, you're lining up, you get maybe 15, 30 seconds with a guy and, you know, you move through to the next person uh, needing that artist's attention. So, um, so yeah, it's a great experience. If anybody, um, is listening, uh, you guys should make it a vacation and um, you know, arch trip uh, for next year uh, is definitely worth going to. So, um, unfortunately for me, when you come back, then you have 50 times the work that you have to catch up on. But, oh, um, it, it's well, I just it. want you to know, Mark, Paulo and I feel so bad for you right now. Yes. I mean, really, Paulo is summing it up with the <laughs> hey, I'm here, I'm still here. <laughs> Helping you sell, well, I don't have to help much, but uh, organizing uh, your ability to sell your awesome <laughs> pieces. So, um, so what do you say, uh, Mark? You want to uh, grab a piece out of uh, out of the hopper and jump yeah, right in, or we we, we, jump right into it? we want to find out uh, about let's, what let's, you guys have been doing. Let's catch oh. up with Paul. Let's catch up with Paula real quick. Paula, what have you okay. been working on since the last time we talked to you? Well, first of all, I just want to say Mark's whole spiel right there was was not for any of any of the listeners, any of the watchers. It was for me because he wants yeah. me to go to Lake Como. <laughs> yeah, right before the stream started, Mark was sitting here trying to like guilt put Paulo into like, why have you not come to this thing? Well, not guilt. Like, just tell him what he's missing out on. I mean, Paulo, just drop it. Really it. is family life don't Fantastic. worry about that you know i mean come on <laughs> hey trust me his wife will want to go to this show as yeah well. yeah no i there, there's no doubt about that we once once we get these kids a little bit more wrangled in then we'll think about doing some bigger travels Absolutely. but uh, i definitely i would love to go i i haven't been to italy since uh, our honeymoon uh which was almost 10 years ago uh, so I'd love to go back. It'd be a good excuse for us to go. I mean, where um, else can you find a sippy cup with your name on it, right? <laughs> I showed Paolo. A, uh, only, only two places, Italy and the Philippines. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, you got to love uh, that stuff, right? <laughs> was Mark, Mark was probably going up to these sippy cup people saying like, hey, where's our cut? Where's our cut for the sippy cup? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Well, Paulo, it's great to have you back. Uh, we always love having you. And you, you, you're kind of like your family on Comic Art Live because you've been here kind of from the start. And so it's always wonderful to have you and talk to you and catch up with what you're doing. Uh, but, you know, we and, and especially because it's exciting because we get to auction off original pieces by you. 
And, uh, and I was looking at some of the pieces that we have for today and man, oh man, I mean, like just when I think you can't top yourself, you turn in these things and it's just, it's breathtaking. It's absolutely great. And I am going to get to one really quick cause I don't want to waste any time, but, sure. um, but yeah, let's talk real quickly about what you've been up to since the last time we talked to you. And then we'll kind of get into one of our first auction pieces. Uh, well, uh, so now I, I spent, I split my time, uh, uh, half of my week, about 20 hours a week is Marvel studios. So I'm working on a Spider-Man animated show. I have no idea when it's going to come out, but it's been a lot of fun to work on. And, uh, it's the first time I've ever worked on anything quite like this. And I love it cause it's, it's the first time I've really collaborated with other artists in such a way, you know, comics, it's pretty much, you know, <laughs> it's a assembly line. And with this, you're always kind of doing different things. Like they'll need, you know, a particular, I, I can't say anything, but uh, it's, it's very interesting work and it's, it's really, uh, I mean, you know, one of my favorite characters, so it can't really I be think, I think you had just started working on that the last time we talked to you. Was that right? Yeah, yeah this is, yeah. it's been about a year, um, yeah. just, just over a year now. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun and, you know, they, they haven't fired me yet, so I'm going to keep doing it. That's great, man. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to ever get anybody in trouble. I always, I'm always scared to death when I talk to people that work on Marvel projects because you know that Marvel's got guys like listening everywhere to make sure yeah. you know that you're not saying something you shouldn't be saying. So yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm glad they finally like they announced it officially. So now I can at least say what it is that we're working on. Uh, I just can't say anything about it, and I honestly don't know a lot about like the big, the big picture. Um, but I'm assuming it will come out someday and it'll be on Disney plus. That's, that's my guess. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, so I do have my time there and then, uh, half my time doing, um, usually I try and do at least one cover a month. Uh, so lately that's been uh, walking dead. I'm going to do six, uh, six covers and I've got two, I'm working on the third right now. And, uh, other than that, just, um, you know, just trying to do remarked and, um, you know, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, Mark, which piece would you like to start with? Because we didn't really discuss that. I, I have like the one that I think would be really fun to start with, but do you have a good one? Any oh, you've got it right there, Paulo, don't you? Yep. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, any then, Paulo. The ink and watercolor ones. Yeah. Any of those choice. Cool. Paulo, what would you like to start with? Uh, let's start with. Oh, nice. oh, my favorite. Sounds my good. favorite. I love it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put in the first classic. bit for this because I want this piece really bad. This is a classic Moon Knight. Uh, and uh, this is an example of the kind of pieces that we're going to be auctioning off here. So, guys, get ready on your keyboards. I've got my screen up. Mark's got his screen up. We're going to be watching the chat. And as we count down, you know, whatever the last bit is, that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to kick this off because I really love this piece. So we're going to open the bid on this at 250. Uh, if you guys would like to bid, what Mark? What kind of increments do we want to do on bidding? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe $25 increments. Okay, so $25 bids. I'm going to kick this off at 250. Uh, and uh, if anybody wants to beat me, you got to go $25 higher than that. And well, um, it, comes, it comes with a bonus drawing on the back. Oh because... my God! Oh my God! Look at that. Drew it. And then I realized there was like a little dot on the paper that was like pressed in. So then I redrew it on the other side. Nice. Mark, Mark can we make that full screen? Yeah. So, uh, well, there. that you want, here's the image full screen. There we go. So here is obviously Paolo is holding the actual physical one, but this is a, a picture so you guys can see a, a more clear shot of it. So Jiggy, Jiggy, Cruz, Jiggy Cruz is ruining my day. He's got a bit of 275 in. <laughs> Hi, Jiggy. Thank you, Jiggy. Um, but yeah, this is a great example of the kind of stuff we're going to be seeing today. We've we've got, I think in total, we've got six pieces, right, Mark? But these are uh, what? Right. Four, we have, four by six. Yep. Four by yep. six. Two, or, uh, pencils. Two are not done yet. And watercolor. Bye. Okay. Finished. They're not finished. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're very close. And in fact, I'm. I think I'm going to get started. Uh, okay. Painting on one. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds That's great. great. I'm sure. All right. I'm going to I'm going to switch my my camera. That sounds like a plan. So uh, I am curious. I mean, since since we're starting with Moon Knight, 
you know, I want to know what do you guys think? Have you guys had a chance to see the uh, the Moon Knight series on Disney Plus? Yeah. And what do you think about it? Sure have. Uh, I, I thought it was great. Uh, you know, yeah. to be honest, I haven't read a ton of the Moon Knight comics themselves. You know, uh, but I, I thought they did a really good job. It was uh, really interesting. You know, there's a few parts that could have been adjusted, I think, but overall, uh, very entertaining. Um, yeah, I, I like what they did. Uh, let's uh, maybe we drop ourselves out and show them. Yeah, let's let's what explain. They... What this is right here. Now we are still auctioning off the Moon Knight piece, but this is one of the pieces. It's going to we're going to be wrapping up with this piece. This is a Wonder Woman piece, and let's explain what's going on here, Mark, so that everybody knows what it is. Or I guess I, I can explain this a little bit, because this is going to be a pretty rare... We don't often see large pieces auctioned off here by Apollo, so this is kind of a first opportunity here. This is going to be great. All right, so here we go. So now this Wonder Woman piece that you guys are looking at, uh, this is digital pencils. The file has been sent to Apollo's dad, Joe Rivera, who then prints them out hand inks over the images and mails it back to Paulo. And then Paulo goes in and actually paints the Wonder Woman piece while you guys are watching it. How cool is that? And, uh, and we'll probably have it finished later this week. So you're probably not going to see the final result of this piece today, but I think you guys can safely trust this is going to be amazing because I mean, just looking at it right now, uh, you know, <laughs> so you will see, uh, and then, we should. We are going to have a. Uh, I think we do have this available. Mark, you can show it. A digital color mock-up that shows what the color choices are going to be, and that it will be hand painted in watercolors. This is the piece that we're going to end with today, and I have a feeling I know someone who's going to have the first bit on this. But, uh, but yeah, this is a rare treat right here because usually we don't get to auction off large pieces like this by Paulo. So I hope you guys are taking this all in and enjoying it. And again, Paulo, I just want to say thanks, man. It's so cool to have you come on Comic Art Live and be able to do this stuff and show it to us, and especially getting to watch you work live like this. It's 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 a real treat. So thank you for being here. Oh, my my pleasure. I'd, I'd much rather you guys watch me paint than uh, watch my face. <laughs> so uh, how, here's a how was that how was so, that work? Did I do well on the description? Uh, yeah, there we yeah, go. That's, yeah, that's that's the way we work. Um, yeah, we, we did this last year with two pieces, with a Daredevil and a Spider-Man, and it, it worked out really well just because, for me, it's it's actually, like, most of the time when I do my sketching, it's usually digital now, so it's actually easier for me to plan a piece completely digitally, uh, not just for the drawing aspect, but I can also plan the color, and so I just, I kind of plan the whole piece out digitally, and then I send my dad the finished pencils uh and then he inks and then um and then i watercolor and for me like the watercolor process is just a lot more enjoyable like i, I like coloring in watercolor more than uh, digital digital coloring so it's um i don't know they're, they're nice relaxing pieces for me and uh, i think my dad likes doing them too when you guys find a rhythm like that, working on a piece like this, and you find like you can do it in stages like that, I mean, I imagine that's got to be really gratifying when you kind of hit that rhythm and you figure out like, okay, we can do it like this, and 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 we know how long it's going to take each of us to do each part of this. I mean, it, it it's got to be great to find that groove artistically, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great. You know, my my dad's super dependable when it comes to all that stuff. So I just say, you know. I've got something coming your way. Can you have it done? And in this case, uh, I ended up print, printing this out for him because I wanted on a uh, thick board, uh, which only my printer can can print on. Uh, and so I just, I sent it to him. He had it done within a day and then sent it back. So I, I think I sent it to him the end of last week and I got it, you know, within a week back to me, uh, you know, California to Florida and back. So uh, it's a quick turnaround. And so, uh, somehow, thank and somehow, you also to the post ser postal service. <laughs> and somehow magically that background is now behind Mark. We, we got to appreciate that. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, chat. Are you guys are you guys awake? We're still auctioning off this wonderful Moon Knight piece. Let's uh, get some bids in. Currently, we are at a bid of two seventy five. Who would like to beat Jiggy Cruz 
And I want him beat because he took away this piece from me. So I want him to get beat. So who in the chat would like to knock us up to 300? And uh, let's get this Moon Knight piece out there. Yeah, uh, somebody needs to bid because I'm going to have to start bidding here. I want that piece <laughs> as well. And I'm trying to refrain and let the let you guys get a piece of it. But uh, I love you, Jiggy. But uh, come on. Uh, opening, uh, that's uh, too well, you know, the point. Nice. And, and what's interesting about this particular piece, too, is that we, we've auctioned off some of these 4x6s before, but you kind of get the added bonus of the, the night sky background on this piece, too. So it's a really cool, very unique piece. If you're a Moon Knight fan, uh, you got to have this in your collection. So Yeah, I, I had to add that background because otherwise you wouldn't see him. <laughs> it's just white on white. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. So... All right, so guys, we're going to keep this open just a little bit longer, and then we're going to have to go to the next one. Does anybody want to beat Jiggy Cruz? Uh, it feels good to beat Jiggy Cruz, by the way. I got to tell you, when you're outbidding people, it feels good. Uh, okay, we do have a question in the chat. Is the Wonder Woman 9 by 12 or 11 by 17? Uh, I believe the correct answer is it's 11 by 14. That uh, is correct. Yes. So. Yep, 11 by 14. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, all right, Jiggy Cruz out of guilt is upping his bed. I love, <laughs> love you, Jiggy. We love you, Jiggy. We're just giving you a hard time, we're just glad you're here. But uh, he's up in his bid to 350, and I think that's a very fair, uh, yeah, that, so. that's great. Thanks, Jiggy. And so, we do have other pieces to do today. We're probably yes. gonna have to start winding this one down. Yeah, let's do a final call on Moon Knight. Uh, so if you guys want to beat Jiggy Cruz's very, very generous bit of 350, uh, post it in the chat. We're going to count this down uh, while we watch Paulo work on this Wonder Woman piece, which is the piece we're going to end with today. Um, so we are this. We're doing a final call on the Moon Knight 4x6 piece, uh, which we showed earlier. Mark, let's put it back up real quick so people can see it while sure. we do our down and uh, don't forget sometimes there's like a 15 second lag or so um oh there we go paul is holding it up for you that's the actual piece that you will get if you win this bid and mark show him the power uh, paulo show him the back too just so because we talked about that that was kind of a, there you go so you get that it's a bonus piece as well you get the bonus sketch on the back that's <laughs> fantastic two pieces for the price of one <laughs> I cannot yeah. believe the chat's not going crazy on this. Everybody wake up out there. Come on. Uh, all right. So we're going to count this down. We'll do a countdown from 10, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we'll do 10, 9. I am watching the chat. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Don't sleep on this, guys. 3, 2, 1. All right, Mark. I'm not seeing any new bids, so I guess we're going to end right. that at three. Congratulations, Jiggy. Jiggy, you got a bargain. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Thank you. Thank right. you, Jiggy. All right. All right. Uh, now, don't listen, guys. If you missed out on this one, don't worry, because we've got more pieces coming up, and then we've got two uh, pieces that we're going to end with that are going to really kind of blow you away. We've already shown you the Wonder Woman Mark, what do you want to do? Or Apollo, I, we'll do dealer's choice. What would you like to do next for the next uh, auction piece? Let's do the vision. The vision. All right. So <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of you guys out there watched WandaVision. Uh, we got to see some really amazing moments. Moments I never thought we would see realized by you know marvel live action stuff and it's great to see vision getting so much love uh and we don't know what's going to happen with vision from this point it's kind of a mystery but i think we'll see more of vision in the future for sure i i think that you know paul bettany loves playing that character and uh especially now with the events that they've set up in multiverse of madness i think we have not seen the last of this character on the big screen so uh this is just a nice beautiful classic vision piece uh, Paula, what are your thoughts on Vision just as, uh, you know, as an artist, as a fan? Like, when you think about that character, what speaks to you? Uh, well, he was always an interesting character. Like, my, I've always loved the character, but my first introduction to him was from How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. So I didn't know anything about him at all. I didn't, I didn't know what, what color he was. I just saw him in black and white, but I just thought he looked so cool. 
And so I was like an immediate fan, but I, I didn't really know why. Uh, and then, you know, as I got older, I, I read more vision stories and I just became even more, of, more of a fan. Um, I guess w when did, uh, when did, uh, the Tom King series come out with, uh, with Gabriel H. Walta, uh, oh, that, yeah, that, that really great. solidified things for me. Um, you know, I was like, okay, like he's absolutely like one of my favorite characters. Uh, and, and then of course, you know, like. I remember, I remember the the second Avengers movie came out, and like that's that's why I was in the theater was to get my vision, my vision fixed, which is weird because like I didn't end up loving the the movie that much, but it's when we got Vision, so I have really mixed feelings about it as as a movie. Um, but you know, I I love I love the character. I love seeing him on the big screen. Um, sad as it was, uh, I I enjoyed seeing him. <laughs> spread out on a table in one division. <laughs> uh, spo spoiler alerts. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I identify with the character or if I just like the way he looks, but I, I really, I always like reading about him. Well, you know, I'm, I'm totally with you. That series that you were referring to, that was such a really, it was such a cool series and it was cool to see that you know, as much as we've already seen with that character, that there's still ways to kind of reinvent it and do new things with it. You know, it's always fun to see uh, creators take characters that are so iconic and that are classic and, you know, show us new and different things with them. Uh, by the way, we've already got a bid in the chat. Above All Comics is in for 250 So we've got our first bid in on the Vision. This is a four by six piece. Uh, and we'll, you know, Mark, I'll have Mark put it back up there for one second. So if, in case you guys missed it, so we've got our bid in for two fifty on this. Our increments are twenty five dollars. If you would like to outbid uh, above all comics at two fifty, you need to put in a bid for two seventy five. We're watching the chat. We're gonna keep talking about some things, and then we'll count this down. We've still got, uh, I think, a total of four more pieces after this. So we uh, we can't spend too long on the countdowns, but we do want to give you guys a chance to get your bids in. And so just put your bid in in the chat. <clears throat> and then we'll get you settled up at the end of it with splash page art. Hey, Peter Rowe hey, is bid for two seventy five. Thank you, Peter. We appreciate nice. that. So our current bid is at two seventy five for the vision. Thank you. Very very cool. Um, and looks and like I, Wonder and, Woman's accessories are starting to fill in. That's right. Yeah, Wonder Woman. yeah. yeah. I kind of I kind of go by color. So <laughs> so now, now it's now it's all red. Paulo, when you make color choices, is that something that you struggle with? Or do you kind of have an idea in your head when you start sketching out a piece? Like, do you know already the colors that you're going to end up with? Or is that something that you kind of, is it something you organically figure out as you're doing the piece? Uh, I mean, each piece is different with this. It's definitely the easiest part for me. Like, for me, it's the most relaxing and most enjoyable part of you know, the, just the whole process of, of, of making illustrations. Cause I, you know, the inking and the, and the penciling can, it can be a little nerve wracking sometimes, you know, um, each for different reasons, but with coloring, like it just means you've already gotten most of the stuff figured out. And, you know, like just the fact that I can talk to you guys while I do it means that there's a, a part of my brain that's, not completely engrossed in trying to figure things out. So like, yeah. I can't, I can't pencil a page. I can't do perspective and have a conversation at the same time, but I can, if I'm, if I'm uh, watercoloring or digitally coloring. Very, very cool. Okay. Once again, guys, we've got a bid in at 275 from Peter Rowe for the vision. Uh, we're going to have to count down this piece because we've still got some other pieces we got to get to. So, Let's go ahead and start doing a countdown on this one. And if you want to get your bid in, put it in on the chat. Mark and I both are watching the chat on our computers. So if I miss it, he'll catch it. If he misses it, I'll catch it. Yeah. So uh, we do have a question in the chat. And Mark, I'm going to direct this to you. Yeah, but uh, Mayank Karana wants to know, any commission opportunities to be auctioned off? Pretty please. <laughs> so, um, we had I, not planned on that uh, with based on what Paolo had told me as far as his schedule, um, he was able to put in the work on the 
five total four by sixes and the wonder woman is pretty much like a commission opportunity because it is a larger piece and paulo doesn't get an opportunity to work on larger pieces but i'll let uh, paulo chime in as well if he if he wants to but uh, um, there were no plans of doing any additional commissions as a right yeah now. yeah at, at, not at this time just because the, the last time we did that it ended up being over a year before I finished it, and uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make people wait any longer than I've already done. Yeah, I would so, say. Sorry, that, I sorry, man. I would say these panels are your commission opportunity from Paul. <laughs> like, well, he he's already this this Mayank. I'm I'm sorry if I'm not saying your your name correctly. He's he's gotten a few in the past, and he's been asking uh, to get more. Um, so well, here's this opportunity. So, uh, ADG is 300. I see his bid. Um, so Mark, yeah. did you want to start counting that down? Yeah, then? let's go ahead and start counting down on the vision piece so we can get to one of our next ones. So we're going to count down from 10. Again, if you guys want to have your bid, put it in the chat. We'll look at it. We'll call it up nine. We are counting down. This is for the four by six vision. Mark, let's put it back on the screen so people can see it real quick. Yeah. Well, Eight. Yeah. Seven, don't miss out on this, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And Mark, you're not seeing any new bids. I'm not nope. seeing any bids. It Let's looks call. like ADG. Oh, Peter Rowe just put in 325. Peter Rowe at the last second. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, right, so ADG counter with 350. Okay. So this, you want to. This wanna, is where it gets exciting, folks. <laughs> you want to count it down again? 10 All seconds. Right, we'll, do a five, we'll do a five count. Five seconds. Ready? Sounds We're going to start good. at five, four, three, Two, one, and we're calling it. All right. Our winner, Mark, is ADG. So, all right. Congratulations. All right. So, just so you guys know, obviously, I don't know who ADG is. Sorry, Javier, you waited a little too long. Um, uh, while we would love to take the additional $25, uh, we are sticking with. Um, our statement, uh, you guys need to compensate the fact that there's going to be some lag. So don't wait to the last second to hit in your, uh, your bid. Uh, so ADG, uh, you are the winner at 350. Um, if you guys would email me, mark at splashpageart.com uh, with your name, address, all that good stuff, phone number, so I can calculate shipping and, um, and send you guys back the total uh, so we can take care of that offline. Um, obviously, I, I can't see your information here. I know Jiggy, uh, we, um, so uh, Jiggy, no problem, we will communicate, but uh, everyone else, please email me, mark at splashpageart.com if you win uh, the bidding on a piece. So um, I will- rest, you know. rest assured everybody, all your information is kept confidential. Nobody shares this information. The only person that you will get a contact from is Mark at SlashPageArt.com. Uh, Apollo and I will not be sending you links to our Patreons or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, and if anyone does get a link to my Patreon, it's not me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we are going to move on. I, how about, I think since we just did the vision, it's only fair that the next piece be, Apollo, you want to show them? Agreed. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful Wanda. Scarlet Witch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, uh, it, it was it ADG? He was the one that won the vision. You know, if you want to have the perfect companion piece for that <laughs> piece of artwork, I think it would be this piece right here. Who would like to kick off our bidding at 250 on this beautiful Wanda Maximoff piece by Paulo Rivera? Uh, this is, uh, look at that. My God. Wouldn't you want to have that on your wall? Why would you not want to have that on your wall? I've got your Paolo. You can focus on painting. I've got the on All right. screen. There you go. All right. So uh, once again, congrats to ADG and ADG. I'm not trying to like manipulate you here, but 
if you need the perfect companion piece for that vision, this is kind of it right here. I mean, this is this is the thing, you know. So let's see who gets our first bid in on this. And um, yeah, well, I, I think we're we, past the first bid uh, a, a few deep now. Uh, Marcus. Oh yeah, I'm catching up. To be... Okay, here we go. Got it. So and, we of course, and of course, this is very timely because Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness has just come out. It's a dominating uh, box office right now. Uh, we've seen some really amazing uh, kind of character development and story content with Wanda. And no, so, no yeah, spoilers. I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I will <laughs> not say a single spoiler. All I will <laughs> say is that this is if you like Wanda as a character, you're going to get a lot of Wanda in this movie. And it's really, really cool that they... Uh, do some of the stuff they that they're giving her that kind of screen time. That's always been one of my favorite characters in Marvel Comics, and so I was very happy to see them, you know, put her in the spotlight the way that they did. Let me chime in real fast. We got a question by Jiggy, and I'm sure it will be relevant on all pieces. Yes, uh, we will make sure that Paolo signs all of his original artwork before it's shipped out. So, um, yep. if Moon Knight is not currently signed, it will be signed. Uh, as well as all the other pieces. Uh, and we are currently up to 375 by Peter Rowe on the uh, Scarlet Witch piece, uh, for those keeping track at home. That's very cool. And we just want to say a quick thank you to all you guys in the chat for joining us here on Comic Art Live. We, uh, we enjoy doing this. It's a great, fun event, especially for people that don't have an opportunity to get out to you know the comic cons and the the chances to meet these people in person so we're glad that you guys are here in the chat and uh just don't want you to think we take you for granted we're, we're very happy to have you here and uh so yeah we're at 375 with peter Rowe. now we're at 400 with javier soto he is our newest high bid 400 dollars for the wanda maximoff piece that is our current new bid and uh we're keeping an eye on the chat so if you guys want in on this you know, don't sleep on this thing. I'm telling you, you, you guys are going to be happy you got it. And since Paulo doesn't night. have an opportunity to go to conventions right now, this is this is his go-to convention. So yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Although, although Mark and I have talked about bringing him out to Dallas Comic Show, we're going to make that happen at some point. We got to make that happen because Paulo Dallas uh, would be very happy to receive you. I know that. So, and we've got great food here, by the way. Forget yeah, about I, I mean, I've, I've been before, Lake but it's, Lake it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Lake, Lake Como, Lake Shmomo. That's, you know, you've got to come to Dallas for barbecue. That's what you need. Uh, well, uh, didn't, didn't Mark bring barbecue to Lake Como? I mean, I'll, I, I I'll eaten, smoke barbecue in Lake Cuomo for you. <laughs> I bet you have them in a okay. box like a kid. But, hey. If you can't make it, I'm sure some of my other other artists will want to go as well once they see all the pictures and hear how amazing it was. But uh, you know I would love to have you there. I, I bet I'm going to butcher this name, but I'm going to try it. Suzuruzu, bonjour, says, looks like women are more expensive. Yeah, you know, I have heard of Paulo's. Paulo's women do tend to sell a lot better. I think that, you know, people are very excited to get an original sketch by Paulo and these are some really great examples. And I'll tell you what, uh, this is not the last one in terms of that. So, you know, but let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, <laughs> I love JW says, I live north of Dallas and Mr. Walter speaks the truth. Of course. Why would I lie about barbecue? We have great. <laughs> All right. So let's do a countdown on the Wanda Maximoff piece. Um, we're still watching Paulo paint this uh, beautiful Wonder Woman piece, which we're going to end with. But Mark, for the time being, let's put that Wanda back up so everybody can see it. And we're going to count this down from 10. Now, once again, guys, we're trying our best to be fair to you in the chat. But remember, it sometimes takes a minute for us to see it. So if you want to get that bid in, don't wait until the very last second. ADG has a bid of 450 in. And again, you're bidding on this 4x6, Trevor Henson, you're bidding on a 4x6 piece of Wanda Maximoff, which is currently on the screen. And that is what you will win if you win this particular auction piece. Tom Nagovin, my buddy, Tom Nagovin, is in the chat at five hundred dollars. Tom, Nagobin, oh, wow, thank you so much! What a wonderful bid, Tom. Thank I'm you, Tom. You, you're, you are going to love this piece if you get this piece. You are going to love it. Uh, Paulo does amazing work, and uh, 
Just so you guys know, Tom McGovin runs a, a, a fantastic gallery. Uh, he has actually sold original Mooka prints. He is a, a true art collector in every sense of the word. Very happy to have you here. All right, so now we got to catch up here. We got Peter Rowan at 525 and then Javier Soto at 550. We are now up to 550 on this piece. So, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, people are taking this one seriously. All right, so we're at 550 on Wanna Maximoff. I'm going to do a countdown from 10. Again, Mark, Hay, and I both are watching the chat. So if you guys want to get your bid in, and there's Tom to go at $600. Yep. Tom, there you go. So very, very happy to have you here, my friend. Uh, wow. Tom Nagovin is in at $600. That is our current bid to beat for Wanda Maximoff. We're going to count down from 10. Oh, my God. Javier Soto, he's going beyond the $25 increments and knocking it up to $630, ladies and gentlemen. We are at $630. <laughs> he has said, to heck with these $25 increments. I'm knocking it up $30. Bucks. So Javier Soto at $630. That is our current bid on this beautiful Wanda Maximoff piece. Uh, we may have some people fighting on this one. Oh, my God, Tom McGovin at $700. We are at wow. $700 for this All right. one Maximoff piece. Tom, thank you so much. Very, very exciting to have you here. Uh, all right, so we're at $700. We're going to count down from 10. And, uh, yes, Jiggy Cruz, I agree. Yeah, big time clap. Uh, we're going to count down from 10. Javier Soto is not Why playing is around. 725? He is at 725. We are at 725 for this Wanda Maximoff piece. I'm not even going to have a chance to count down because everybody's just fighting here on this. I mean, you know, but this is great. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, clearly there is some love out there for Wanda. So, all right, here we go. We're going to count down from 10. If you guys want to beat the bid of 725, you can do so in the chat right okay. now. We're we got 750, down. Thomas. 750. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is Eesh. really exciting. I got to tell you, Tom, Tom and the Govan at 750. All right. Uh, let's see if I can actually do a countdown. We're at 750. On We're at 800, Maximoff. Mark. We're at 800 with Javier Soto. Oh, my Soto goodness. Wow. This is, this is incredible. This Is this the highest we've ever had uh, on a bid for one of Paulo's pieces so uh, far? Uh, for, for the 4 by 6s I think. For the 4 by 6s yes. yeah, for the 4 by 6s yeah. Yeah. All right. So Javier Soto is at $800 right now, $800. That is where we're at. All right, guys, we're going to count this down. I think Peter tried to counter, but he uh, lagged a little bit. So Javier still has him at 800. Uh, yes. Peter, you're in at 775. That's been surpassed. Javier Soto at 800. All right. 850. Tom, Tom McGovern is in at 850. Guys, I'm just going to say this. All right. We have not yet sold one of these pieces for $1,000, but why don't we break a record today? Let's go ahead and break that record today, because I think it would be really exciting, and, and it would give Paulo a really good feeling after missing out on Lake Como to know that one of his 4 by 6 pieces sold for $1,000. So... <laughs> this is, um, yeah, this is really all about my feelings. That's, that's yeah, why we're here. Still, Jill Loudon in the chat, uh, our friend Jill, uh, she pointed out to, to me that she was our previous highest bidder on a piece like this at seven fifty. So we are, uh, man, we're Jill. You're in good company right now because I'm telling you, Tom's a great guy. He's at eight fifty, and we're going to count this down from ten, starting right now. All right, so guys, we're watching the chat. Mark is going to keep a close eye on it. I'm going to keep Javier a eight seventy five. Oh, there, Mark. God, Javier is at eight seventy five. Whew, man, this is exciting. Okay. I hope we get to these other pieces. <laughs> so, well, let's uh, maybe count it five. Right. Count five count, maybe. You want know? to do a five count? All yeah. right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Make people count put it down their... five. Tom DeGovan is in at $900. $900. <laughs> So we may uh, we may do what I was talking about. We may hit a grand on this, and it would be really nice to see one of these pieces go for a thousand. I know that it would make Paulo feel good. Again, Paulo has been really Dude, that that won't just make me feel good. That'll make my wife feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Paulo has been really sad because Mark didn't take him to Lake Como this year, and I just want to <laughs> make him feel better. I think that we can do that if we can get this piece up to uh, <laughs> Tom DeGovan says. I hope Javier loses his internet. Uh, <laughs> uh, ouch. Okay, I do. 
I do want to point out ADG put in a bid of 900. We have a prior bid currently ADG. Tom Nagovin is in at 900. So if you want to beat that, we, you know, to go 925 or else Tom has got the current okay. high bid right now. And, uh, and so, time wise, we are running out and we're only three pieces in, Mark. So, Javier, okay. Okay. Javier Soto is in at 950. So, Jeez. all right, guys, I got to count this down. I tell, you, I tell you what, should we, Mark, should we say this? If we get a thousand dollar bid, we're going to call it. Can we do that? Well, I mean, it's pretty close. We've got two or three people that are all on top of each other. So, because I'm afraid if we count this, we're just going to keep getting bids in. But ADG is in at a thousand dollars. Wow. Thousand. All right, Holy so I'm gonna moly. Count, I'm going to count it down. I'm going to count it down. All right, yeah. We got a prior bid at a thousand. So we're at a thousand right now. ADG has the high bid. I'm going to count it down from five. We're going to see where we end up. All right. We're going to go yep. five, four, three. 1,025 on Javier Soto. Javier Soto <laughs> is at 1,025. I'll start over. Five. Holy moly. Four, three, two, one. And Mark, do you see any uh, further bids? Uh, I think uh, right now, it's still Javier Soto at ten twenty-five. We're gonna Let's call it. We, it we is Javier it. Soto at ten twenty-five. All right, Tom congrats. Wow. And Tom Nagovin hates your guts, Tom. <laughs> wow, thank you, Javier. We have still got. We have still got a couple of pieces to go, so don't give up hope. There are still opportunities here. You could win a piece, but uh, yeah, Javier, thank you so much. We have hit a new record during one of Apollo's panels here at Comic Art Live. Four by six, Wanda Maximoff, sold for $1,025. Congratulations wow. on your new acquisition. And you can contact Mark at mark at splashpageart.com to settle up on these pieces, which I hope that you will do. I sincerely hope that you will do after this. All right, so <laughs> Ron, Ron <laughs> Lim says, so the Wonder Woman piece will be like $100,000, right? <laughs> hey, Bill, are you listening? Ron, you joke, but I mean, at this point, I think all bets are off. We don't know uh, what's going to happen at this point. All right, so we've got uh, another four by six piece coming up. Uh, if you like the ladies, uh, there we go. Spider Gwen, look at that. I mean, this is just a classic split face, one of those classic spider poses that we see so often in Marvel Comics. A beautiful, beautiful rendition of Spider Gwen. And of course, Spider Gwen is super hot right now. So uh, this would be a great piece to add to your collection. Uh, one of the most unique pieces I think we've seen Paulo do of the four by six pieces. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Who would like to kick this off at 250? And guys, we're going to have to kind of speed it up a little bit because we've still got two more pieces after this that we have to get to. So we're not going to play around on this one. Let's get those bids in. I'm going to do a countdown pretty early on this one because we've got two more beautiful pieces we've got to get to. So let's kick it off at 250. Who would like to start us on this one? And uh, all right, Casey, Casey Andre is at 300, I uh, believe. Oh, wait, E.P. Snowden is at 500. Okay, oh, wow. E.P. E. Snowden, I believe, is our current high bid. We've got a lot of bids coming in back to back, but it looks like E.P. Snowden has the current high bid. Harry, uh, uh, I saw your bid after E.P.'s, but I'm afraid he has the current high bid right now at 500. So that is the price to beat. And we're doing $25 increments. So if anybody would like to beat $500, put it in the chat. We will get this to you. It's a beautiful Spider Gwen piece. EP is at $500. So, yeah, EP yeah. Snowden, you have the current high bid at $500. And you might as well, for each piece, just start counting. Like if if it lags at all. So we're at $525. 525 um, Harry Utomo. And... All right, so Let's we're going to go ahead count. And... We've got to count this down because we've still got two more pieces to get to. So we're at 525, and I'm going to start counting this down. So, guys, if you're serious. Oh, by the way, Mark Brooks is joining us uh, in the chat room. Congrats, Paulo, says Mark Brooks. Mark, thanks oh, for hi, being Mark. here. Hope, we hope you're feeling better. We know that yeah. you've been uh, fighting off COVID. All right, guys, EP Snowden is in at $600. We've got a current bit of $600. Uh, and I'm going to start counting this down. So if you want to get your bid in, put it in the chat. Uh, if I don't see it by the time I get all the way to the end of the countdown, then we're going to call it. So we're at a current bid of $600, E.P. Snowden, counting down now from 10, 9, 8, 7, 
Six, by the way, I apologize. I don't want to feel like we're rushing this, but we really do have to get to these two other pieces. Seven, six. Six, uh, 625, Harry Utomo. Harry Utomo, we're at 625. Six. 675, E.P. Snowden. <laughs> E.P. Snowden, 675. Six, five, four, three. E.P. Snowden is in at 875. Wow. All right. Wow. Very Thank nice. you, E.P. Snowden. You want this piece, I can tell. you, And I think you may just end up getting it. So... Three, two, one. Last chance, everybody. Yeah, I All see right. that on Lim. That is 875. All, All right. right. So, E.P. Yeah. Snowden is winning this piece at 875. Congratulations, E.P. Snowden. Very, very happy for you to have this piece. The ladies are doing well tonight. All right. Yeah. So, thank you, E.P. If you would email me, mark at splashpageart.com with your information, uh, I've got you down <clears throat> for 875 on the Spider Gwen. So, congratulations. That's a beautiful piece. Congratulations, E.P. Snowden. Okay. Now, this is very interesting. This piece is not finished yet, but it is penciled and fully painted in gouache. It is a four by six piece, and it is a TV show likeness. And this has uh, been in the news this week, or actually this past week, because Disney, I believe, just announced we're getting a new Daredevil series with Charlie Cox. So this is definitely a timely piece, a perfect piece to add to your collection. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful so this, Daredevil piece. This piece will be completed within a week. It is not quite done, but it is. Uh, look at, I mean, look at how beautiful it already is. My God, we're gonna. Hello, just to make sure we're on the same page. The purple is that uh, like a blue tape, basically, but it's purple tape. Yep, and then. Oh, and it's got a sketch on the back. Yep. Yep. Awesome. So again, yeah, I don't two, two pieces for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, I don't whatever uh, whatever board I was using, one side had these little dents in it. And so I, I drew it and then I realized there were dents and so I I switched it up. Very but nice. uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is just the underpainting. The purple tape is is just so it'll be it'll have a clean edge. Yeah. And um, it'll be fully painted. You know, it, it's like he'll I mean, if you've seen if you've seen the show, it's a, it's a deep deep dark red. Um, yeah, and, you know, but the the lighting is that's pretty much what it'll it'll look like. Uh, hi to JJ Torres in the chat. Uh, Suzu 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 Rosu Bonjour says, "Forget it, not a woman." Now listen, <laughs> because it's not a woman. Uh, and also Orlando uh, Saragoza says, "Paulo, your run with Mark on Daredevil is still one of my favorite all time favorites." Uh, thank you. Oh, thank for that. you. Yeah. All right, so guys, we're going to kick this one off. This is going to start at 400. Who would like to start this off at 400? Again, this piece is not completely finished yet, but it will be finished within a week. And uh, as you can see, you can get a really good idea of what you're going to get there. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, plus, there is a sketch on the back. So, again, you're getting two pieces for the price of one if you win this and, piece. Uh, Paolo can probably chime in on this um, as well. But to, just so you guys understand, this is – um, different than the other pieces that we've sold so far in that this is fully painted in gouache. Um, it's not the pencils, inks, and then watercolor. It's pencils and then his full full painted style. So, uh, Paolo, if you want to jump in on that, you could probably explain it better than I, I can. Yeah, yeah. So fully painted just means uh, <clears throat> it's painted in, in gouache. And uh, usually with a, a few acrylic highlights, uh, usually in, in the white. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's based on a few different, uh, mainly this piece. But it's a, as you can see, it's like a little bit different. Um, I changed, changed the angle just a bit, but it's the same basic lighting. Um, I actually have um, one little model of it. So that, that's how I... That's how I'm able to like change the uh, angle and stuff, but uh, cool. Yeah, I have a lot of these little heads that I get off eBay, and they really help me. I, it's also a problem. I, I buy too many of them. <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm gonna catch up here real quick on bids. Uh, Jiggy started us off at 500, or actually, David started us off at 450, then Jiggy at 500. <clears throat> now David is up to 550. Matt Moore, you put in a bid for 550, but we had a prior bid from David Britton to Brittingham. 
at 550. So we're going to need to beat that. David so Britton. 575. 575 Jiggy. by Jiggy Cruz. There we go. All right. So we're at 575 on this Daredevil piece. Again, this piece is not 100% finished, but it will be finished within a week. Uh, and as you can see from the detail on that piece, this is really going to be something special. Matt Moore at six hundred dollars. Actually, Emmy. Technically, Emily, Emily got him on. Okay, first, so Emily, but David has jumped in at six fifty. David Brittingham. David Brittingham at six fifty. That is our current high bid. We're at six fifty on this piece right now. That is the bid to beat. And again, I don't want to sound like I'm rushing through this, but we actually do have to finish this up before we get to the next panel, and we've got five minutes. So, guys, I'm going to ask you, get those bids in as quickly as possible. We're going to have to start counting this down. Emily Cesard at 675. That is our current high bid. We're at 675 on this right now. Uh, Let's anyone go want ahead to and start that? the count, Mark. We're going to start the countdown. 10, 9, David Brittingham at 750. That is our current high bid to be. We are at $750. Wow. Nine, eight. Emily Cesar at 800. Hans Woody at 800. All right, Emily, I apologize. Hans has 800. If you'd like to beat that, you're going to have to go above 800 to get the high bid. We're at there eight. she goes. Oh, 850. 850. David Brittingham at 850. Right oh, my God. Ahead. All right, so David Brittingham has 850. Emily, I apologize. Once again, he beat you to it. If you want to beat him, you got to go up to 875. We're at 850 right now. And I'm counting down from okay. eight. Okay, Emily uh, put her money where her mouth was, 950. David there you go, Emily. suit with 1,000. There we oh, go. Oh, wow. Okay. We're at $1,000. David bringing him at $1,000. All right, we're at, uh, counting down from eight, seven. We're at $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. Six, five. You got four, people rooting for you, Emily. Three, <laughs> two, no pressure. <clears throat> Two, we're a thousand dollar bid. One and David Brittingham, oh. you have won this piece at a thousand dollars. Thank you. Guys, wow. Thank you. Please Thank you, David. Mark at splashpageart.com. Uh, Emily, we appreciate you bidding. So don't feel bad. There will be other opportunities, but uh, but congratulations to David Brittingham. Thousand dollar bid took home this beautiful Daredevil piece. This piece, once again, will be finished within a week. Contact Mark at SplashPageArt.com to settle up. And ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. The Wonder Woman piece that you've been watching Paula working on, this is the piece that we are going to end with. And uh, once again, this piece is not yet done, but it will be done. And uh, you, get a, you can get an idea of the colors that Paula is putting in right now. You're watching him do this live. And uh, we're going to end on this piece. And... Uh, our opening bid on this piece. And just real quickly, I'm going to recap this just so everybody knows what this is. <clears throat> this was done in digital pencils. The file was sent to his dad, Joe Rivera, who then prints them out, hand inks over the image, mails it back to Paulo. Paulo then paints the piece live today, which you're watching, and will most likely have it finished later next week. So what you're seeing is the inks getting uh, painted and uh, our opening bid on this is going to be $500. So who would like to kick off our bidding on this? And again, I'm sorry, we're going to have to go fast because we've got to wrap up in time for the next panel. I think we're probably going to end up going over a few minutes. And I apologize in advance to Bill, who I'm surprised is not in here right now trying to wrap us up. So you know what? Yeah. Tough luck, Bill. We're just going to keep going on this piece. So. Well, um, Bill explained we have the responsibility. He's got his hands full with other stuff. Um, so, okay. Um, it has already jumped off to start. Wow. Eric we have started. Got, okay. I think our high, our, yeah, I think our highest bid right now is that Tyler L. is at $750. Uh, so, Tyler L. is at $750. Okay. That, oh, Ron Lim at $1,200. Ron. And remember, you. folks, this is 11 by 14. So, this is the largest. Peter Rowe at $1,500. $1,500. Oh, wow. I bid Peter Rowe at fifteen hundred dollars. Jill Lowe Lowe is at seventeen fifty. Jill, I know you want this. I know you want this piece, and I hope that you end up getting it. Jill is at seventeen fifty. Tom, I appreciate that bid, but Jill is taking. She is taking this one seriously. Harry Utomo at two thousand dollars. All right. Peter, oh wow! I, I see that. Okay, you put in Peter bid. tried to oh. counter it too, but Peter, you gotta um, jump up above two if you want to beat Harry. Yeah, Harry is in at $2,000. That's where we're at right now. 
Uh, by the way, welcome to Bill Bot in the chat. I always love seeing Bill Bot. Enjoying the show? Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, Jill Loudon is in at $2,100. Jill is at $2,100. Again, this is an 11 by 14 piece. It is a very rare opportunity to get a large size piece from Paulo Rivera. So Peter, Peter Rowe, just jumped in at $2,500. $2,500 from Peter Rowe. That is fantastic. Guys, we are so excited that you're here today. And thank you so much for bidding in our chat. We're at $2,500 on this beautiful Wonder Woman piece. Mark, let's put it back up there, the uh, example. There we go. That's what you're, it's, you're, what you end up getting is going to look something like that um, in the end. Uh, Paulo will have this piece finished within a week or so, and he will get that to you. So we are at $2,500. This is an 11 by 14 piece, a very rare opportunity to get a large piece of art from Paulo Rivera. We are at $2,500. So Jill countered with $2,550. So she's uh, currently the high bid on this. Oh. E.P. Snowden just chimed in with twenty-seven fifty. Oh my goodness! I love this. Wow, we're at twelve. Wow. This is a fantastic piece. So, um, yeah, way to go, guys. E.P. Snowden, not playing around. Uh, Peter uh, E.P. Snowden had a prior bid of twenty-seven fifty. We are now at three thousand dollars from Peter. Oh Rowe. wow! Gentlemen, three thousand dollars is our current bid from Peter Rowe. This is very exciting, and uh, and I know this is going to make Paulo feel a lot better about Mark not taking him to Lake Como. I know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Paulo told me no conventions this year, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to push it back to him. He, we had space for him. He could have been there. Yeah, maybe, maybe the next. <laughs> We're hitting a new record today All multiple right. times over. So we are and at $3,000 from Peter Rowe. That is the bid to beat. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to count this down. Again, I'm yeah. sorry to rush, but we do have other panels to get to. So we're going to start the countdown at 10. Our current high bid is $3,000. That is the bid to beat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Mark, you see anything on your end? Uh, I see 3,000 as oh, 3,100. E.P. Snowden just chimed e. in. E.P. Snowden in at 3,100. Right Peter. at the last second there. So let's five count it. Uh, All right, we're going to five count it down, and then we got to call this because we've got to end 3,200, Peter Rowe. Peter Rowe's in at 3,200. All right, we're going to count down from five. We're at $3,200 right now. Five, four, three, two, one, and I believe that is it. Yes, Mark, 3,200? Is that where we're at? E.P. Snowden just hit 3,250. So let's <laughs> three count it and, and call, okay. Peppermint just did 3,300. <laughs> this, this is where you got to get serious, so, folks, right here. You got to be okay. serious. If Throw you your biggest to... bid because we have uh, surpassed our time and yeah. we apologize to the next group that is trying to get in here. So, um, guys, right, Mark, Mark, where are you at? 3,500, uh, 3, Peter Rowe. Just... Peter Rowe in at 3,500. All right, guys, we're going to have to call this. I'm sorry. We're at $3,500, Peter Rowe. Last chance. Three, two, one. Mark, Peter Rowe, taking it. 3650, E.P. Snowden. Let's <laughs> three count this again, Mark. Let's three, it out. two, one. Last chance, y'all. Here we go. The high right. bid is 3650, E.P. Snowden. E.P. Snowden at 3650. Wow. Congratulations. Thank All you right. so much. All right, real quick. Sorry, guys, Peter, I'm afraid. You guys that have won, too late contact, this time. contact Mark at SplashPageArt.com to settle up. Thank you to everybody in the chat that has participated today. Uh, and we we cannot say thank you enough to Paulo Rivera. Hey, uh, thank you. Amazing work. And, uh, and Paulo, uh, thank you for spending time with us today. And apologies to our next panel here at Comic yes. Art Live, but we're going to wrap this up. There's Paulo. Say thank you, Paulo, to every, everybody in the chat. Thank you, Paulo. Uh, thank and you, everyone. To you guys in the chat. I'm Mark Walters. I'll see you guys again at the next panel with Mark Nelson, which is after the panel that we're about to get to right now. And again, our apologies for taking too long. Mark, thank yeah. you for being here. Mark A. from Slash Page Art. Thanks, guys. We'll thank you, you, everyone.